Oh, these beavers. They have a big washout forming here. See what they got here? This is a beaver proof culvert system. When that thing is put in, actually that looks like it was put in and they ripped it out. I see there's chew marks all over it, but that's supposed to be sticking out here. If they clog it up, it's supposed to pour in. Look at that beaver dam. Look at all that mud. Wow, look at the mud inside that culvert. That is jam packed. I don't know, we might be able to pull some of that out of here. I'm at least gonna try. Look downstream. No current at all. Look at the size of this culvert here. Alright, this is a totally different situation than what I thought it was. See, they have a big four foot culvert. And this one's going through the middle with the expectation of them clogging. It's a good thing I saw the end there before I started doing anything on this side. So that smaller culvert is under the dirt here, going out to about here, where that structure would have been. That, and they, yeah, they plugged that up too. Can't do that one by hand. Even if you did get it going, it would create such a hazardous vacuum. Now this one here, might be able to take a chip at. At least getting something flowing, because currently it's doing nothing. And look right here. Water table's extremely high. I bet every rainstorm it's crossing here. Got moose tracks. Yeah, this right here, definitely crossing. Look at the erosion here. Definitely. Let's see if we can get that down a little bit. Someone's target shooting. Okay, that's a plug. So it should have been going in through the top of this. Look at all them chew marks. Beavers didn't like that. All right, he just geared up.
Oh my gosh, wow. Whoo, whoo, whoo. Four minutes of preventative maintenance and we're gonna drop this pond back to its normal height. I didn't unclog this metal one. I unclogged the plastic one I found. So that would have been sticking out from the plastic one only at a few feet. I'm out of breath. As this thing drains the pond, it'll dig the mud out of the way. We're gonna stick around for like an hour. When it's done dropping back, I'll get any sticks it drags into it, you see? We unclogged the plastic culvert, which looks like it might be two feet, maybe 18 inches. Oh, wow. This is a big pond. It's gonna take a while to go down. People ask me all the time, isn't removing a beaver dam illegal? If you do it in the middle of nowhere, yes, but this beaver dam is not meant to be here. It's clogging a waterway, a culvert, threatening a road. That's what makes it legal. I've asked states and other people who would handle legal advice with environmental problems. Nothing wrong with this. You saw a minute ago, dried up, no trickle. Look at that. Good flow. And notice how it's leaking out of the sides. We didn't unclog the big culvert. That means there's a hole in this one or it's disconnected. Let's go inside. What do we got in there? Oh, I'll be back in a minute. I gotta get my inspection camera. Ooh. Oh, I can't even get up. I'm so out of breath from that few minutes of... All right. We got that thing raging tremendously. Let me pack up this. Damn, my car smells disgusting. It has a really slow um, gasket leak. So occasionally a drip of um, synthetic oil will go onto the exhaust manifold. The dealership recommends I just leave it. They said I could probably go years without it getting worse, but it smells. Look at that, good flow. Now let's see where this water's coming from. Let's go inside the pipe. Oh, gotta spread my legs over this big hump. Oh, I'm gonna be filthy. Man, no, it's not. It's just leaking through the clog. This is one continuous piece. I don't need to go in that far. This metal one looks perfect. Do you hear that? That echo of that turret is awesome. That's why this one is in here, because they want the beavers to clog this up because they'll feel accomplished. But they're also, so they're also supposed to be doing maintenance on it. Okay, that's all we needed to see. We'll stick around for a while. No issue going on in there. Both of the pipes are in perfect condition, except that end structure needs to be reset. Now you saw how bad it was down there. We're gonna stick around for like an hour, maybe even leave and come back. Okay, now, something else people always mention. Why am I just leaving it here? Won't the beavers put it back? Usually they like to start fresh. Honestly, that's what they do. They like fresh materials. I have never seen them put stuff back and I've left cameras to make my old clog in progress videos time-lapsing. Still a great turret going in there. Is anything clogged in the entrance? You saw how I was raking away from it. That's because most of the stuff is waterlogged and I knew it would just sink. It's just a waste of manpower doing that otherwise. But look at the gap on top. Uh, that's what I was trying to open. Thankfully, I found this underneath. Yeah, nothing's blocking it. It's just kind of at capacity. That pipe doesn't have any joints. Anything that enters, it'll just leave it. Oh, that's awesome. That's probably the most exciting logging road culvert I've ever unclogged. We've done many other clogs that were bigger, but not one that's gonna have this big of an impact. All right, looking at the end. See the pollen buildup? Dropped about two inches so far, hoping to get this. Yeah, it's gonna go off the road. Definitely, because you saw before we started, 
there was no current. That means whatever feeding this is basically dried up. So as soon as it gets to the bottom of that culvert, it's gonna stop. Oh, look at that. You got a good friend right there. Oh, doesn't wanna be touched. Alrighty. All it takes is a little rainstorm and you can see it would go right across. Back after driving for like an hour. We're gonna get out and take a look at this. I'm gonna try not to fall off this bridge. It's in very rough shape, slowly collapsing. Yeah, it's gotta be real careful not to run over those nails sticking up. Yep, see, going way down. I can already bet you it's the foundation because that stream is going around a tight corner. I bet it's washing out and sinking. Let's pull over and take a look. First off the bat, I can tell this entire thing has been underwater over the winter. Look at all the debris wrapped around the trees. Just couldn't handle it. And it looks, um, that that's probably part of it. It looks like there was a beaver dam blocking this. That's what that kind of looks like to me. It may just be a flow of debris, which is very possible. Yeah, I was right. Underneath is all washed out. But take a look at this. People trying to go around that. Somebody hit the railing knocking it off. Oh yeah, those nails wouldn't have popped anything. But that's quite an impact. Like, I went over it slowly. If I was going fast and the springs compressed, I would have bottomed out on that. Take a look at this. There's no foundation. It's appears just to be wood. Someone used a beer box so you can spot it. I think before that bridge was put in, this culvert was there and that culvert washed out. They just leave it out here to rot. There's no problem with that. I have a problem when they do that with plastic ones, but who cares about the metal? Let it rust back into the environment. Because what do you see here? Why are these rocks colored orange? There's tons of iron already in the environment. Who cares if that rust? Go underneath. See what's going on. Then we'll head back to that culvert. Oh, it looks like years ago they had a heavy gauge cast iron culvert. Those are some of the best, but it's undersized. That's exactly what that is. It's completely filled and look at the gauge on that. That is awesome. That's how they should put them in. If it wasn't undersized, it would still be operable. That side of the foundation's even washing out. Look at that over here. It looks like they put these rocks in here to try to slow it, but this whole thing has to be rebuilt. They need a bigger bridge. I'm trying to climb back up out of here. Yep, need a bigger bridge. Now this is a nice bridge. This one's bigger built with metal beams and concrete. Take a look at all this damage here. This is most likely from water traveling down the hill, washing out this culvert, or the road, I should say. It's marked with those rocks. It could have been water going over the top, eroding as it was washing down the other side. Always hug the corners going around these because those log trucks if you encounter one driving fast Because out here there's no width Regulations because they own these roads. They sometimes use trailers That are 18 feet wide and they unload them and put it into a regular truck to leave All right about 80 minutes later, we're pulling back up on site of the beaver culvert. How much did we drop? Uh, about six inches actually. Not as much as I was hoping for, but it's still dropping. Let's get back out for a little while. And just take a look, pull over here into some bushes. Yeah, there's more water here than I thought. It's going to take a while to fit through that 18-inch pipe. 
But as you can see here, we dropped maybe uh, more like four inches. Yeah, but this puddle's not going to go away. That's not connected, but they look pretty level. I'd say about four inches. But we're still going to be going down quite a bit. But I'm going to leave. I'm not going to be checking back in on this maybe in the future someday. But not anytime soon. I did what I could. Still got great flow coming out of here. It's just going to keep doing that. But the only thing I'm concerned about is when it drops another foot it's going to start creating an undertow which might block it right back up again but it's only going to block it to a certain extent yeah there's absolutely nothing stuck in there from when we were just here yeah you can see on that rock the pollen marks eh, about four inches but we're still flowing at a very steady pace see all this is dented they have cleared it before with an excavator uh, that's a lot of water that, that this swamp i have no idea how far that goes it could go another mile it's a big bog or whatever you want to call it but it's running clean now except for what i just stirred up with my feet looks great a lot of good current this is a couple miles down i figure it uh, this water Probably traveling a few miles an hour. Yeah, it's definitely made it down. There's a main road down there a couple miles. We'll see if we can figure out what culvert this is leading to and we can see if there's an issue down there. I doubt it. That's a state road. I have never found a clog in this state on a actual main road. They have great maintenance teams. They check it at least twice a year. Never found a failing culvert. Their budget for infrastructure is huge in this state and they would definitely take care of it, replace culverts before it becomes a problem. People always ask, do you see snakes out here? Finally see one. The only poisonous stuff we have out here, occasionally a copperhead, but that's almost extinct. It looks like we have a garter snake. Yep, that's a garter snake. Harmless. It's completely harmless. Yeah, it just, oh, there it is. A hey, garter snake. If I had my gloves on, I'd try to pick it up. I'm not afraid of being bit by it. I just don't feel like it because a snake bite will itch for days. I've been bit by mine a few times. It's a friendly snake, mine. It's only because it's basically blind when it's shedding and I couldn't tell my hand apart from the mouse. There it goes. Yeah, it's just basking in the sun. It's like 80 today. This goes quite a distance. It's all in that grass. Yeah, it probably goes at least a half mile. Can't check the satellite images. I have no signal out here. That goes quite a distance. This is draining. Probably by the time it gets down where we want it, hundreds of thousands of gallons of water. Yeah, it's just a ton. I'd say that culvert, what it's doing now, it could be draining upwards of a thousand gallons a minute. Not really sure. All right, that's all set. Don't know if I'm gonna end the video here or not, but we're gonna see if we can find out where that water's going. I doubt I'll be able to find it. It probably hooks up with a bigger river before it gets to the street. Look at this, all kinds of, see all this erosion in here? During a storm, that, that culvert is too small regardless. The 18-inch one, probably even the bigger one, because what I'm seeing here, a lot of water crosses here. I see erosion all inside here. This whole thing, especially during the spring thaw, goes underwater. Even that four-foot culvert, if it was fully clear, it's not going to be able to handle that. All through here, looks like it goes underwater also. Let me try to look at some irises. Those have good flowers. Looking for definitive proof. I don't see any definitive proof there, but here I can see debris wrapped around trees. All right, we traced it to this bridge, which lines up perfectly. And it's a bridge, so of course it's gonna be handling it. Any noticeable? Yeah, you can't even tell. It's not going over the banks or anything. Yeah, it's adding to a, another river. 
can't tell any flow difference is happening. Now this is an abandoned logging road that's further downstream underneath that bridge. We'll see what's happening down here. They probably have that river going through a larger culvert or maybe a dilapidated bridge because this road you can tell is only being used by recreation. You hear my, ch my keys jingling there? Someone asked me how many keys do I have on that ring? It sounds like there's 40 of them. There's actually 20 of them. It's from a bunch of different buildings I've worked on. I just keep the keys. I never ask for them back. Most of them, I don't even know what they go to anymore. You know, I shouldn't say that. I can tell you exactly what they go to. But those locks have definitely been changed by now. So they're useless. This road has just turned to crap. When it rains, I can tell this whole thing would be flooded. No drainage ditch anymore. Yeah. Getting more and more narrow. But I'm pretty sure it loops back around to the main road. found it. This is the bridge. If you see off to the left, those posts that used to be a railing. Very unusual to find a concrete bridge on a logging road. Yep. Looks like it's in perfect condition, structurally. Just the railing's gone. Probably got hit by the snow plow in the winter. But they're currently not using this road. Yep, and I was right. It's coming right back out. This is mostly used by ATVs now, it looks like right back out to the main road not driving back on that again that was horrible so narrow hey everyone we're back the next morning just drove over the pipe i can see it's not flowing out let's see if the beavers tried to put anything back but now you can see it's not up near the road anymore probably dropped off a good eight inches overnight Thought we were going to come back to see it a lot lower, but I guess not. At least it's off the road. All these puddles are gone. Head back up to the pipe. As you can see, where the flow was, now it's just reduced to a tiny little trickle. Is it going to be plugged? It might be. Ah, those darn beavers. That's why there was barely any drawback. It's right back overnight. Look at that. Yeah, they're definitely active. Yeah, they push a bunch of... Most of that is just mud they push from the bottom. See, they didn't reuse any of the pile. They just push a bunch of crap. And that's just going to keep happening. That's why the structure needs to be put back in. I'm going to unclog this again. I got a plan that might work this time. I'm going to put that structure back in front of it.
that time we got it open much more difficult because they put a bunch of mud on top of it and as you can see it's not pulling as fast today they were smart they bested us we still got a ton of flow coming out the other end but they actually built a dam inside the small culvert so that might be as best I can get it open today I'm gonna tr keep trying a little more then I'm gonna put that structure back not the way it's supposed to go just the long way here just to give them an inconvenience That's the best plan I can think of at the moment. I'm sure they'll figure that thing out. That thing has a bunch of holes on the bottom of it so it can work as an intake, but it's not even attached. I can see the coupling. I think that's supposed to be the end going in here, but there's no way to get it in place without an excavator making the entrance clear but I'm hoping that gets in their way so they have an issue putting it back regardless they're gonna do something as soon as the Sun goes down they're most active at night unusual to see them working during the day all right no, I'm not coming back a third time. Maybe way in the future. Because this is a three hour trip. Just doing this one thing cost 12 hours of driving. Hope this video was interesting. Thanks for watching.